Welcome to this week's lesson segment on Weekly Outdoor Plus, brought to you by Barbershop, 2400 Church Street, Stevens Point, where they have the most wide variety of vacuums, sewing machines, and parts you can need, and great service to go along with it. So get your notebooks and pencils out, because it's time for your lesson segment with myself, Jace Hintz, and Weekly Outdoor Plus. Welcome to this week's lesson segment on Weekly Outdoor Plus. Uh, Jace Hintz here, going to be giving you guys your uh, tip of the week. Uh, I'm going to be starting out, everything's going to be about your peep site selection. Uh, the difference between certain peep sites, uh, what the benefits of certain ones are, because I mean, you can use just about any one of them, but most of them are for specific different reasons, and a lot of people, you know, just throw one in and that's what their game plan is forever for everything. Um, majority of the peep sites you're going to be looking at, like when you walk into a pro shop and everything, most people are going to just be offered the generic, as what's in this bow here, the black, uh, comes in different sizes, no hood on it or anything, just a generic black tubeless peep. Um, there is tubeless, there is tubes. Um, personal opinion, I don't like the tubes for the fact that, yes, it makes it turn back straight every time, but as long as you have your bow set up properly, it should anyways. And um, the tube's also going to cut down the wear, or it's going to make a lot more wear and tear on your strings and cables, where, you know, it's $120, you don't really want to just throw away when you could just go without a tube and have it set up correctly. Um, it is a kind of like an insurance thing. I mean, you could always have a tube in your pocket just in case you need it, but I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, if you set it up right, you should be okay. Um, the next thing, when you get the different options, it's, you know, most of the time generic. Uh, hunting peep is what they're going to be calling it. Um, you can get it different sizes, and that's one thing I really strongly recommend looking into. Um, if you're just hunting, you know, you want a little bit bigger one, but again, you don't want it too big. The smaller the peep, the more accurate you're going to shoot due to, you know, you can't look through the top or bottom of it as easily. You're going to be looking more through the true center of it. Um, like I shoot for target-wise a very small peep. The only problem is when you go to smaller peeps, it starts getting darker. So, you know, you could end up losing 20 minutes of shooting time if uh, you end up having too small of a peep. So you got to find the happy medium. And I mean, like on my hunting bow, I have one peep. On my target bow, I have a completely different peep. It's just because, you know, if it is a little darker, it's not that big a deal because it's always light enough where I can shoot where you, know, you don't always have a light right above you when you're hunting out of your tree stand. I hope you don't anyways. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the other difference between peep sites then is gonna be a little bit more technical. It's gonna be a clarifier or a verifier. Um, again, it comes in different diameters. That's your choice, your selection. Um, it also comes with a hood on it or a hood without. Uh, the with hood is made for when it is sunny out and stuff so you don't get a glare on your lens. Um, these are all adjustable where it'll come with the housing and then there'll be a little aperture that you screw on the inside. Um, all you need is the generic housing. All of them will fit in it as long as you know you buy the right size aperture, and you can get any all different powers basically. Um, a lot of people are starting to go to this, if, especially if you have glasses or contacts, so that you don't have to have them in. If you're nearsighted or farsighted, uh, you can come into the shop and test out all the different ones. And a lot of people with glasses are starting to be able to get away without shooting with them. Um, you don't have a lens in the front or anything, just in your peep sight, so that when you pull back, it'll clear up your pin and your target. Because otherwise a lot of people are nearsighted, they'll see the pin, they won't see their target, or they're farsighted, vice versa. Um, those little tiny things will help you out a lot. And I mean, another thing, going with a smaller peep will clear up your target as well, or clear up your pin, whatever you're having a harder time with. It's kind of like helps it focus in, basically. Um, again, come on into the shop if you want to try those out. I mean, they're a little bit more expensive, but by far in the long run, better choice. I mean, you can get, you could have one with your clarifier or verifier in it. And you know, say you want to shoot with your glasses on one day, you can screw it out and put a clear one in that doesn't have a lens in it. And that's just a hole. So I mean, it's multi-purpose all around. You know, it, it'll last a lifetime. It's a very good investment in my opinion. I use them for just about everything. Um, so yeah, if you want, stop on in, check out the different verifiers and clarifiers. See if one will work for you to lose your glasses or your contacts. One less thing to worry about. And uh, also see how big your peep sight is. You know, if you got one of those really big peep sights, you might think about going down. A, you know, anywhere from a sixteenth to a quarter inch just to you know see if you can shoot better or more accurate with it because I guarantee you the smaller you go the more accurate you will shoot to a certain extent so uh, yeah hopefully we can see you guys come on in uh, be more than happy to help you and as always tune in next week we got some good stuff on rest for you